For anyone out there who has a great business idea, whether you're young or older, go and get the appropriate, the appropriate expertise in that field. Make sure that you align yourself strategically with partners and different people that can help you move the company along the way and go, go down the right track. I'm Thaddeus Young, NBA basketball player, investor, and a philanthropist. Reform Ventures is uh, my venture capital company, uh, my fund that uh, I started uh, about three years ago. Um, I've, I've been investing before that, but I started about three years ago because I wanted to actually turn it into an actual company. When investing into these different companies, what we do is we uh, find the companies that where we can mitigate some risk. So investing into companies like uh, DraftKings, Airbnb, uh, DocuSign, like those type of companies, we, what we do is we buy secondary market shares into these companies at a late stage. And then uh, we use the gains from those secondary shares to uh, mitigate the risk uh, of the next investments, which would be like an early and growth stage opportunities. Welcome to my business class. And here's my top three requirements for a successful business. My first requirement for business, I say great leadership because the companies are only as good as their founding fathers. They're only as good as the leadership that's, that's in place to run the company from start to finish. Two, stick to the criteria. So if you have requirements for investment, you have this certain criteria, these, these list of things that you need, you stick to those. And if they can't provide all those different things for you in a deck or a business plan or in within for you to do your due diligence process on it, then it's probably something that you shouldn't invest into. My third requirement is data and analytics, simply because the numbers will show and tell you every single thing that you need to know. Every single thing that you need to know about the company, from the books to how much they owe in debt to how many assets they have to the liabilities to you know every single thing down the line. So from the net income uh, margins to every single thing. So definitely look at the data and analytics portion, the numbers, uh, because they will tell you every single thing about the company. My first motivation for going back to school was my mom. Uh, so after I left college after the first year, but she made me promise to uh, leave college. If I, could, if I leave college, then I will go back and get my degree. It took me nine years to actually do. Um, I got my bachelor's in uh, business management, and then I went back and took it a step further because I looked at it as, okay, yeah, I got my bachelor's, but you know, I want to be able to go into a workforce and I wanted to be, um, if I was to go into like a front office gig or, or do some type of front office work after basketball or do anything after basketball, I wanted to be um, not just qualified, but overqualified for the job. My neighborhood is uh, in South Memphis, Tennessee. The, the things that they're, they're fighting through, the struggles that they're fighting through each and every day, uh, especially like being a kid growing up, uh, you have single parent households, you have uh, poverty, you have uh, drug dealing and drug using, you have you know just about everything across the board that's basically like something that's, that's saying, hey, you won't make it, you're gonna fail. And you have to put in your mind that you're gonna be successful, you're gonna, because it's all distractions. You know, you just want to be one of those guys that are one of those women that can actually change it and, and move forward. And I think that's what was good for me. I was actually one that actually um, wanted to move forward and wanted to get past it and didn't let anything deter me from my path. Uh, we're going to go by my old house, uh, which is... Uh, it is where I grew up and, and you know, it, it, it's not the best of circumstances, but, you know, the good thing is, hey, I, I grew up and I learned a lot in that house. Growing up here, basically, you know, really defined me as, as, a, as, a, as a role model, as a man, as a father, as a husband. Being under certain circumstances, it really defined me for being an ultimate human being that, that I try to be each and every day. You know, this is where I grew up. We, the backboard wasn't painted, it was actually a square up there. 
and then somebody came up here, I guess they painted it or whatever, because some other kids probably started coming up here and playing. But yeah, we made our own basketball court. This used to be a convenience store. This building right in front of us. Go go there, buy some stuff, come up here and sell it. <laughs> just doing anything just to either make money or be able to play sports or do something. This is Mitchell High School. This is where I started my basketball career. This is, you know, where it all started with uh, D. Thaddeus Young going and trying to get to the NBA. So we're here at my wife's salon and spa. As you can see, Forever Young Beauty Bar. Uh, we're gonna take a, a, a small, quick tour and talk to her about like her business and how it runs, operates. Ladies, come, come get your your, your do done. <laughs> when she first came to me and she first started talking to me about like she wanted to do a salon and she wanted to have her own business and stuff like that, you know, for me. I'm all for that. Um, just simply for the fact that, you know, I want my wife to have some type of independence. I want her to be able to, you know, handle business for herself. I want her to be looked at as a, a power woman or a businesswoman, as opposed to just a, a, a wife of an athlete. So I told her, I said, look, you know, if you want to do this, like we got to do it the right way. So you need to come up with a business plan. You need to come up with uh, like a, a whole strategy. And she was like, okay, bet. At the first day her shop opened up, she only made like 15 bucks. But I was in that shop with her, you know, grinding with her. And this is what I was doing each and every single day that I went in there with her. Pick up the phone and I would say, hey, my name is Thaddeus Young. This is Forever Young Beauty Bar. How may I help you? It's very important for me to give back to Memphis just simply because like this is where I'm deeply rooted. This is where I, I went from a boy to a man. You know, this city is giving me, giving me a whole bunch. You know, they, they've given me time, uh, respect and uh, they've stuck with me through thick and thin. To me, being a warrior means to go out there and be ready for battle, to defend what's yours each and every day. I demonstrate leadership by taking advantage of the resources that's being provided to me and making sure that I do educate myself on each and everything that I'm going into. So through my Young For You Foundation, um, I try to basically like you know, touch every city that I, I play in amongst my hometown. So like doing, you know, back to school drives to, um, you know, sponsoring kids with clothes to uh, giving away shoes to uh, feed homeless to um, volunteering at homeless shelters with, the, with some of our kids doing a big brother, little brother type program. Things that I do want to do I want to start, um, you know, we have tutoring and stuff like that and educational programs, but I want to start having uh, like summits, a moderated session between like successful like athletes and people from different realms of business to where these kids can kind of have, get a feel and get a flow for what they possibly would want to do if basketball doesn't pan out, if any sport doesn't pan out. I always wanted to have my own spot where I can really just come and train and do whatever I want to do. I don't have to call anybody to say, hey, let me into the gym. I don't have to, you know, call anybody and say, hey, can I use the gym today? I think for me, um, like it was like about like not only just giving back to the community, but uh, also creating a um, uh, another opportunity where, you know, the people that, you know, that that want to kind of be involved with some of the stuff that I do was kind of giving them like the opportunity to be able to kind of like make some money and stuff like that also. So providing, so not just giving back to the community, but also providing resources and jobs for people that was within the community also.